Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So now every Tuesday afternoon, we're gonna be releasing a new video, uh, a new episode specifically around cancer survivorship. Okay, that's gonna support uh, the, the video we release every Thursday, which is more around general health, Ayurveda, herbal medicine. Okay, so if you or anyone you know or love is living with cancer, these Tuesday sessions are going to be really important. So please do subscribe so you never miss an episode. Okay, um, and in today's uh, video, I want to talk about a really important study for anyone living with cancer to be aware of because of how relevant it is, uh, clinically speaking, to uh, survivorship to suppressing some of the most important mechanisms of, of cancer promotion and cancer progression. Um, and, you know, the relevance of it to uh, to health when we're living with cancer. Okay, and over the last, you know, five, six, seven years, we've seen a real increase in the number of clinical studies looking to powerfully assess the impacts, the efficacy of natural medicine in the context of evidence-based cancer survivorship. And that foundation of evidence is getting more and more compelling, more robust and more important. Okay. Um, and in today's session, uh, today's video, uh, it's a beautiful example of that. Okay, because what this study that I want to explore today you know, has has looked at, has aimed to analyze is what happens when we combine, when we look not just at one natural supplement, not just one herbal medicine, but when we combine a selection of natural compounds into one anti-cancer prescription, how does that impact upon certain mechanisms of cancer promotion? How does it impact upon you know, the physiology of survival? OK, um, and specifically what this study aimed to look, has aimed to explore and aim to assess is the impact of uh, natural compounds on something called interleukin 10. OK, um, and this is really important, OK, because so it's, it's abbreviated to IL-10, OK, because IL-10, if someone has high levels of IL-10 in their body, it's proven okay, to suppress immune activity, okay, high levels of, uh, of IL-10 have been clinically proven to suppress um, immune activity, specifically within the tumour microenvironment, um, it's been shown to reduce the immune system's ability to identify and destroy cancer cells. It's also quite significantly linked to poorer survival outcomes. So when people have high levels of IL-10, they typically have worse survival statistics. OK, so what the researchers in this study aim to assess is what can we do? What, what's the evidence? What's the impact of using natural compounds to suppress IL-10, to, to, to mitigate that risk? Um, and what they aim to do was look at three compounds. Okay, look at something called taurine, turmeric, and pepperine. Okay, and I'm sure the latter two, turmeric and pepperine, you're probably well versed in. Okay, but taurine perhaps less so. And I think we're going to see a lot more, um, you know, uh, media exposure and press devoted to taurine in the coming months and years because it's increasingly being shown to be profoundly important in the context of not just cancer survivorship and cancer biology, but overall health, cardiovascular health, Alzheimer's prevention, and you know, increased longevity, better uh, lifespans and health spans. Um, so what is taurine? Taurine is a natural based amino acid. OK, the body produces it. We can also increase our, our levels um, through a variety of dietary sources, primarily animal sources. So uh, meats, fish, shellfish, um, but also certain uh, uh, vegetables, so particularly seaweed, nori. OK, so sushi, seaweed, very, very high levels of taurine. OK, and what we know, taurine has been clinically proven to initiate apoptosis, so something called cell death, you know, um, programmed cell death in a wide variety of cancer cells. So taurine uh, has, you know, really shot into the forefront of, of evidence based anti-cancer natural medicine because of the impact it's been shown to have. Um, and you can also get taurine supplements. You can you can uh, increase your body's uh, levels of taurine via supplements. That's what this research project looks like. Looked at. So it combined taurine, 
uh, with turmeric. Okay, turmeric is the most famous, the most revered anti-cancer herbal medicine in the world. Um, it's been shown to induce cell death in cancer cells. It's been shown to increase cancer-specific immune activity. We know it suppresses something called um, angiogenesis, which is a primary mechanism that cancer, uh, cancer cells and tumors use to pull in blood vessels to supply more nutrients to speed up growth. Okay, so turmeric suppresses that mechanism. We know turmeric provides powerful antioxidant defense within within the cancer microenvironment. So yeah, turmeric is just the most powerful, the most awesome, the most evidence-based anti-cancer herbal medicine. But we know the anti-cancer activity of turmeric is unleashed by pepperine, the compound found in black pepper. Okay, so what this research aimed to look at was if we combine turmeric with pepperine, but then adding add in taurine, what kind of gain do we get? What impact do we get? So what they looked at, they recruited a cohort of people with cancer. These were individuals with quite advanced cancer. Um, they had a terminal prognosis, for want of a better word, in terms of you know, they, they couldn't expect, clinically speaking, to you know, experience curative treatment. Because of that, they weren't having conventional treatment. Okay, There was no real gain to them having treatment because the side effects were probably going to outweigh any benefits. Okay, So they were off, they, would, they had come off conventional treatment. They were then given um, four grams of turmeric, so 4,000 milligrams of turmeric a day, four, 40 um, milligrams of, um, of pepperine, uh, and 500 milligrams of taurine. Okay, so four grams of turmeric, uh, 40 milligrams of pepperine, and uh, 500 milligrams of taurine every day for 90 days. Okay, they looked at the levels uh, of interleukin IL-10 before treatment started and at the end of the 90 day period. Okay, and what they found at the end of the study was that these individuals had a clinically significant reduction in IL-10. Okay, that correlated to a significant increase in immune activity in the tumor microenvironment. And given that lower levels of IL-10 and increased immune activity, you, know, you would predict, you would expect that to have you know, an impact upon longevity on survival times. And that's what the researchers found. They found that those individuals who were living with lower levels of IL-10, they had better survival statistics and lived longer than those individuals with high levels of IL-10. Okay, so this is really important research because it contains, it's looked at, you know, compounds that have an, a, a, an evidence base to show they're effective, but they've combined them into one pragmatic study. And that's shown to, to significantly impact upon, you know, biochemistry in the body in a way that is cancer suppressing and, and survivorship promoting. And that's exactly what they found. OK, and because that research was conducted in individuals with advanced cancer, there's even more. Um, yeah, there's the suggestion that it would be even more effective in those individuals with less severe, less advanced cancers. OK, so this is really important research for anyone living with cancer to be aware of. OK, so uh, a combination of uh, turmeric, pepperine and taurine. OK, I'll share the link to the research paper in the in the, the comments in the, the show notes below. OK, if you have any questions about how it relates to you or your individual circumstances, please let me know in the comments below. And as I say, we'll be releasing cancer survivorship specific episodes every Tuesday. So please do subscribe so you stay updated when they are released and what they're all about. Uh, thanks again for watching uh, and I will see you soon.